Hey all, welcome to village in Inca Mountain, the first location in Viracocha Crestline. Okay, so a priest, maybe Viracocha's priest, promised these people to help them pull their horses, but maybe he just stole them and went off somewhere. So it's the key who is helping these people. Mm, we got to place these barrels on the marks. Okay, so let's talk about the story in the previous quest line of Hoitsi. We saw that the calendar which we are looking for has been broken into three pieces. And each piece is with one of the Inca gods. Uh, is with one god of each civilization. Inca. Aztec and Mayan but we did not get any from the Aztec gods so maybe one of the gods was lying I don't know what happened with that but we have now moved on to the next quest line uh, Inca quest line if I would guess because the village name is village in Inca mountains so here is the place of Viracocha and looks like he's a prankster so let's see we have obsidians here we are still looking for all the calendar pieces we have not found any this is the fifth card if i know correctly i'm not even counting the cards so about the location it's 5 and 5 tiles long and will cost less than 1.5 million energy no it's actually more than 1.5 okay around 1.5 so let's see we have a new card we are just starting off and like most of the cards we have first found the priest the priest was actually easy to find. We found him right at the start of the location. And we start collecting plate place pieces in this location itself. If going by the standards, there will be six plate pieces. Uh, I don't remember how many we are getting in this location, but we are getting some of the plate pieces here. Now we have to fix this pipeline. This consists of movable pipes as well as rotatable pipes. So verticals and horizontals are for the movables. The corners they are all rotatable. It looks like this is it with the five rotatable ones here. Now let's rotate more of them before we fix the movable ones. You may already know but for these rotatable pipes you must point the two white lines in the directions where the water is supposed to go. Okay, last two pipes, rotatable ones. Now let's see what to do with the movable ones. There does feel like a shortage of space, shortage of room, but not enough. I mean, there is still a lot of room. Pushing this in the corner, pulling it from upside and the other two pieces are very easy so that fixes the pipeline let's go back and talk to whoever this is and i want to level up of 
concentrate on Jedi. Uh, a lot of energy. So we can now continue without interruption for quite some time. Interruption is for me, for you the video is anyway straight. It was the last obsidian, I think. Okay, let's see what we have in this hut now. This priest is very naughty. Has promised people to help, but has messed up things. Help is far away. So now it's Tiki who has to do his task. And after that, maybe we will get the take piece. The solution is right above, in case you are wondering. There we go. They could have made this uh, little complex. They directly provided the solution. Anyway, let's proceed. One diamond tile down there, but it is blocked by a rat. So maybe after we get rid of the rats, we can come back here for the diamond. These are not movable, only rotatable, so just rotate them according to the solutions right next to them. I'm going to go back. I don't exactly know what to do. The rat is still there. Mm. Looks like we'll have to come back later. We've blocked off the rat nest. Now, to get rid of the remaining rats, we need to bring, bring a cat from somewhere. Here is that cat. The other cat is not for us. The black cat is not either. So let's go back now. Maybe we can access that diamond. They have told us to be beware of the Viracocha priest. The rats have moved and we can collect the diamond. Okay, with that done, let's go back then. Okay, we can now access the cave and looks like it will have the plate pieces.
We are not getting plate pieces for free, so what exactly is our price? Maybe we have to fix this pipeline system. Some movable pipes, some rotatable pipes, and some rotating stones, which may be for the gates that are locked by files. So I'm just digging all the tiles, then let's start solving it. So I'm going to rotate this according to what the adjacent one says and I think I have to rotate all four of them to open all four gates. Uh, that has not worked unfortunately. Am I doing something wrong? Oh, these are movable as well. So where do I move them? I guess over the solution ones, I guess. That actually works, that has opened one of the gates. So one by one we can do all the gates. Now rotating these. Vertical ones are going in the center. It's past 12, so the daily reward pop up come game. Yeah. Mm. Rotating. Looks right, and I'm pulling it. I can go from the other side to the area down here. Okay, similarly we can just put those verticals there, rotate the stones, then similarly do the next part. Okay, I had forgot to rotate the ones uh, here, so I'm gonna do that now and after that, I don't know, maybe the path to the plate pieces will open up. Mm, not exactly, oh actually we had one plate piece path open. On the other side there will be another plate piece so that will be two plate pieces for this location now let's get the first one here and looks like we have six pieces of viracocha as other cards now let's go to that other side High cost tiles here, so that's quite some energy drain, but that's okay.
I am running out of energy so quickly. I just have to stop again and again for the refill. Once we are done with this outside high cost tiles, I think we are even done with the location almost. It did not have a lot of floor tiles. And the plate this year would be the last part. So, unlike the left side, we do not have any pipes to fix. We just have quite some circular pits. And we have to rotate those stones and get the circular pieces out. Here are the pipes. The solutions are inside the gates. There is only one type of each quarter half of each color. So the position does not matter. Just rotate them accordingly. We have opened up all the gates and now let's drag all the pit stones, shaped pit stones. Four of them and we will reach the plate piece. So let's see what the Virakocha god would want from us. This would be pretty similar to all the gods we have seen but Hopefully we get any plate piece of the calendar which is missing. Three pieces are missing. We are I think almost halfway through the new world. Uh, maybe not halfway yet but yes almost there. We should have had at least one piece of the calendar. But we only found out in the last, the fourth card that the calendar was broken into three pieces and three gods have stolen it. So that was quite less late in the quest line in the region's progress. But anyway, we have found it and now we got to find the plate pieces. When we get them, we get them. For now, we are done with the two plate pieces of Virakocha, not the calendar I was talking about. And almost done with the tiles as well. So let me quickly dig these two tiles to pass. That's all of the tiles. Now let's go back, talk to Virakocha's breast and that will be the end of this location. Okay, he has had his fun, prankster. So thank you for watching. See you in the next location.